One of the problems some YouTube content creators face is that they're so busy making content that they never get to see anybody else's content. And uh, among the other content that's out there are challenges and, and competitions. One of the competitions I discovered recently is Emma's Spare Room Machine Shop's Tool Making Challenge for 2017. Now the people who enter this challenge are probably going to be some very skilled machinists, um, way more skilled than me. But there's something that I know that I can make that's going to be a really good thing and it's a good thing to have in a machine shop. So my bid for the 2017 tool making challenge is going to be a lathe center finder. And on this video, I'll walk you through how I'm going to make it using Fusion 360. And then in the next video, I'll walk you through actually making it. So we'll start with a blank slate in Fusion 360. This is just a drawing area. I know I want to create a rectangle. It's going to be two inches long and three quarters of an inch tall. Then uh, I also want to create a point out on the front of it. And the way I'll do that is by drawing a center reference line and then draw a 45 degree angle up there for the top of it. After that, I'll just create a 3 8 inch square below that, and that'll give me the point, the front end of the center finder. Then we uh, stop the sketch and extrude it out to 3 quarters of an inch wide, and that'll give us our 3 quarter by 3 quarter inch block. And that's what I'm going to make this from, is a 3 quarter inch aluminum bar. Next thing I'm going to do is uh, punch a hole in the bar. And uh, I'm not going to use CNC equipment to do this, but uh, showing it to you in Fusion 360 is really handy. Now the next thing I want to do is cut a wedge into the back of it, and that'll be the saddle, so to speak, that uh, butts up against your stock in the lathe. And uh, I just want to give myself a nice center line, and then I can zoom in and uh, make a nice 45 degree angle. And that's, that's one of the cool things about Fusion 360 is uh, it, it lets me define that angle and then I know that I'm in the right place. And uh, from there I'll just, it, it snaps to corners pretty easily. So then we'll stop the sketch again and then extrude out to cut that piece away. And uh, this is very similar to what I'm going to do in real life. I'm just going to do it on a milling machine. The next thing I need to do is I want a nice point on it, a sharp point right on the front end. So I'll come in here and I'll just draw a couple more lines, nice center line for reference, and then a couple of uh, diagonal lines. And then I will use the software to extrude out the, uh, the areas I want to cut away. And uh, again, just like in real life, only in real life I'm going to do it on the milling machine. And you can see what it looks like there. Now the only thing left to do is come in and bore a hole so we can see into the first hole we drilled. And what I'm going to do with that first hole is I'm going to put a spirit level inside it. In the software here, the way you make these cuts is you draw shapes and then connect them together. And then you use a process called extruding. And uh, if you extrude away from a part, it creates more of the part. If you extrude into the part, it, it cuts the part. And uh, that's what I'm doing here. And uh, in real life, I'm just going to come in and take a big old pass with an end mill and uh, bore into it. And uh, it'll look just like this in the end. So that's my bid for Emma's Spare Room Machine Shop 2017 Tool Making Challenge. Let's hope I can actually get it built by the deadline. Anyway, click up here to see my last video. Click over here to see something of mine that YouTube thinks you'll like. And have a good one.